Okay. Um, we heard about this a while ago, um, and I, I, I'm embarrassed to ask it, but I'm going to ask it anyway. A comedian by the name of Tommy Too Smooth did an interview. Um, I, I'll put the channel that he did the interview with um, in the description because I can't remember it offhand. But he told the story where he said that Michael Jackson, of all people, um, beat up Tupac one night. And that he witnessed this or he heard about it or something. Something happened where he thought it, this was factual. Did you see this um, going around Instagram? And if so, do you have any thoughts? John, I told you don't ask me that question. That, I've been floating around for about four or five weeks, right? Yeah, yeah. And I've been seeing y'all in the comment section. I knew John was going to make me address that question now. And so I, I, that show y'all right there, me and John don't rehearse questions because I definitely wouldn't allow them to ask me that question, but we must be short on questions for this month, this week, y'all. <laughs> so, that's me taking my shot at John. Oh, y'all, man, come on, y'all. This dude saying that Michael Jackson beat up Tupac. All right. Well, when, y'all? What were Tupac people? Michael don't let people, Michael don't even like touching his own kids. He going to touch another man and be fighting for him? Fighting another man? Michael was very germophobic, y'all. Michael wore masks before masks was... <laughs> before we thought masks was cool, y'all. Michael gloves. Michael was not like that, y'all. I know y'all say Michael was a crip because y'all got another video where he did a music... A music video, and y'all see him throwing up some gang signs. Probably didn't know what the hell he was throwing up. He just took some pictures with some dancers, and, and so y'all want to make him a crib. So okay, cool. <sighs> Michael's not like that, but y'all know Tupac would have talked about that if he had an altercation with Michael, y'all. The only issue that Tupac ever said that he had with Michael was. That, um, you know, he was mad that I ever heard. I heard this myself. He was mad because after the taping of Poetic Justice, and we all know Janet was married or in a relationship at that time, but he thought him and Janet was going to be cool, going to be like partners, you know, hang out, you know, like he was with Jasmine and all of them, I guess, you know. And she changed his phone number and never reached out and got him her new number after that, after the, uh, I guess the, uh, what you call that? The, the screening or whatever. That's the only problem I've ever heard Tupac having with the Jackson family. And, and, and he always felt that it was, and then, you know, of course, she made him take the HIV test and all that stuff because Michael told him to do that. We heard those stories, right? So Michael gonna go defense for Quincy Jones, rest in peace to uh, to Quincy Jones. Even though I know you were the first Diddy, but well, with the little boys, well, okay. But rest in peace. <laughs> but oh man, yo, I don't know. Um. I I address it. I don't I never heard the story. And y'all done heard everything about Tupac. You know, y'all know Big Sight. Somebody was around him at that time. Tupac did not be very, very, very rarely rolled around alone. Especially somewhere. I mean, yeah, very, very, very alone. So he definitely wouldn't have been around in the areas by himself at an event where Michael Jackson would have been for this. This would have been worldwide news if Michael Jackson got into a fight, y'all. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Why do y'all let people... I hope it's a comedian channel. I really hope it's a comedy channel or somebody just trying to be funny or something like that that's making the allegations and saying this stuff. And um, So unfortunately, we have to address situations like this. And y'all going to be like, oh, I know, I know. Like, you wasn't around, huh? you know, he didn't like you and all of that. 
I would have just said he, we would have heard about it. I wasn't around you. I hired motherfuckers to be around me. Yeah, four to five different people. The only time I really dealt with him was like that is when me, Suge, and everybody was with him. But either Yasmin or him calling me, Rich, I need security. So I need security here at this time, such and such date, such and such time. That's how they went. But he didn't like you, Reggie. All right. <laughs> Y'all funny. Me and Pac ain't never had no problems. But hey. Okay. <laughs>